Sir, please help him. The warehouse under the bridge. Bro, Frankie, you're making all this so much harder than it has to be. Oh, there's Robin, whoever the person from CP9 is. You want some alone time? Huh? Dude, I said Polly is like the... I don't know. I still think he's the lead contender to be a, a shipwright, Aiki. He seems like the... Like he's the most fleshed out one to an extent. I like his design too. <laughs> this is the way... I love how they're all sitting the exact same way. Oh, Will! They're so uniform with everything. Also, oh, they can't listen in. <laughs> These guys are so goofy. I love them, though. You're, you're yelling. We're indoors. I feel like having someone guard the windows is important, too. What's he telling Polly? We don't get to hear, man. Maybe he's telling Polly what he thinks is going on. I don't know. Iceberg is still kind of weird to me, especially after that conversation with Luffy. Maybe it's like he's telling him something in case he does die. He needs him to know. Get on it immediately. Oh. <laughs> What? What is going on? See, Ice this makes Iceberg look really sketchy in my eyes. He's sending Polly out. He doesn't need to just be defended. Oh, here we go. Wait, is this what he was keeping from Corgi? Like hiding from Corgi? It's not gonna show us what's in there, so I'm not gonna get my hopes up. Yeah, I didn't think so. What the hell? It's a little phone! Dude, that voice! Oh my gosh. The four of you, other four of you, so there's five total. CP9. That's so badass, though. So intimidating. Dude, that's creepy, man. Oh, here goes the raid on Galila. There's five total from CP9, including Robin. At least that's what it made it seem like. Oh, it was planted. Yeah. Nobody's like, hey guys, look at those two standing up there. Oh, here they go. That guy looks like a unit. Uh, they got their work cut out for him. The mouse is freaking out. There's a windows in here. Like, wh why is nobody in here with him? In case someone comes crashing through the windows. Okay, Tilestone. They're leaving uh, Iceberg. Yeah. Oh. I think these two are fine. Oh, that's another CP9. Okay, it seems like he's just kind of fast. She, maybe? Yeah, hella fast. What is that weapon? It's like a whip. Oh my god! It's a thorn whip? What the hell? But he playing Elden Ring. That's sick, though. Uh, hey, pal. Um, I don't, I don't think I'd mess with whoever this is. I don't think this is a pirate. I love his impression that this... Oh, it is a girl. Oh, shoot. Oh my god. Oh, she might have been the one on the phone talking to Robin. Ah, there's Robin. Because that's three of them so far that we've seen, including Robin. There's two more. Dude, his voice is so cool. I don't know if it's a voice changer because they're in disguise, but it's so cool. Where's Luffy? Where's Luffy? Yeah! Oh my god. He's already just straight up gone. <laughs> Damn, Chopper coming in with a one-liner is this arc, holy. CP9. I mean, technically they're not because uh, they have like masks and whatnot on. They're not really showing their faces, but I get what you mean. Now, how powerful is this dude? 
He's got a weapon! Oh. Is he a magician? Oh, it looks like they vanished as soon as he whipped that off. What the hell, man? They disappeared. Huh? Bro. There's nowhere they could have gone. They would have seen it if they went up. Ran in the air? Is that a power? Like you run on air? Can the other guy like phase through walls? That's my only guess. He's never that he can turn invisible. Moonwalk? Wait, that's that's so badass. Dude. Oh my god. That has to hurt so bad too. So much for the craftsman of Water 7. Oh, uh, you did, yeah. I like her voice. She's just going ham on all of them. Oh, yep, there they are. Wait, is there... Oh, is it a map? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's not a CP9. Oh, it's the other two. Wait, so CP9? Then that means Corgi is involved with them? Because he wanted what he had, too. Bro, that's creepy as hell. Oh, CP9. Look at her intelligence agency, Cypherpole. Uh. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, they're creepy. Yeah, you guys framed it that way. We'll have to kill you. What is it? I have to know. Is it a treasure map? Undercover intelligence agency. I'm guessing that's like contracted by the government. If it is connected to Corgi, it would make sense. Government's corrupt as hell from what we've seen. Push me. Oh my god, he basically can face through the wall. But it's weird the way he does it. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Interesting. Door, door, fruit. Touch becomes a door. That's weird. That's OP though. Like really OP. Oh my God. Damn, bro. Who's that remind you of, Robin? A good chef. A bad turn? Oh, yeah. Huh. So if he lives through this, he knows what's happening. And he knows that Luffy and them aren't responsible. He's just telling him, he's, he's pulling the evil villain, tell, the, tell him what's going on. Oh, blueprints of a ship? What? Oh. Blueprints of a ship? Why would those be so absurdly important? And now he knows they found Polly. God. So far, yeah. It seems. I'm sorry, he's gonna fight Polly and Luchi? Leaving Nico Robin to finish someone off isn't her strong suit. I'm gonna say that now. I have a good feeling she won't. And take what he has. And Luffy's probably booking it in right now. Exactly what they want, probably. He'd go right in the front entrance. Just full energy. Yeah, they know exactly how that plays out, actually. It's a pretty good assumption, yeah. <laughs> He's loud and proud. See, now that almost seems like it'd be too good to be true. Oh, here they go. Are they not distracted with what's going on in the residence? Oh my god, there's so many. Wait, where's Luffy? You can't be serious, bro.
Dog, I cannot with this man. I do like the fact that like that the entire bit of Nami and them assuming exactly how it would go if Luffy did make it there. Because he they're right. I mean, he would have booked it right past everyone. Everyone would have followed him in and it would have been hella light. Like there wouldn't have been that many people to, to guard the building. But since he never made it there, all the chaos, I guess, is going on inside and the other side of Galila. So that everybody's just just still out there. All right, so the plot thickens. I, I'm leaning more and more towards Ice being an okay dude it all depends on this thing that he's hiding but it seems more like uh, it's a ship design a blueprint how is it worth that much i know it's been passed down they said but like what almighty secret could there be on, on a ship blueprint i mean i guess it's kind of apropos for a place like this where it's you know the best ship ship builders and the greatest shipwrights in the world but still i'm, I'm curious to know why they're they're, they're cr like going so crazy for this cp9 has been hired to, uh, to obtain this and why i'm going to assume that the government wants a piece of it because i think it's it's almost obvious that that corgi is, is the one directly involved he visited just the other day like yesterday and then the assassination went down and they're they're this investigative team that can probably very easily be hired for the right price i feel like it all makes sense so things are starting to connect more and more but there are still a lot of secrets that haven't been revealed yet but guys that's been it for episodes 241 242 of our one piece watcher do drop us up on the channel if you are new and i'll catch you guys in the next one is base